Okay guys, look at how much life I have. I'm going to activate red skill now. Extortion wave. Hello guys, Oxter here and welcome to another awakening video. So as you saw in the title and as you saw in the thumbnail, I'm going to be awakening Dread. You saw it, he's very good. If you have seen Chevalier's um, channel, check it out. He does a very good job in the uh, scenario. So that's why I pick him. It's, it's a it was a little bit hard because it was to choose between him and between Patima that is very good and between Erin but I don't want Erin even if she's very good for Arena because she's so overused um, she's a goddess she's a goddess in Arena she can kill everything because of her um, her invincibility skill She's great, don't take me wrong guys. I hope I can get something good. I hopefully can, I hope I get something good since I never got an older born awakened hero or an um OD or goddess awakening hero. So let's stop wasting time and let's awaken him. I won't do any skill changes because eh, I don't want to, I still prefer to do transcending. My arena team is nearly all 42, so I need to get rubies for a little bit more weeks. And after that, I will try to get some rubies, save rubies for my first awaken, extreme of awakening hero. So, I guess that's it. So, let's go and awaken him. There you go, empty dread. I'm afraid to do, to see his awakened skill, but let's see what I'm going to be getting. Uh, I I knew this was going to be bad, Fury. I knew this was going to be bad. I knew it. I knew it. People like him. I know people like him. Some people like more. Um, Patima, but I see some special strength on him. Since he can heal 60%, he can also deal damage, and also he can get extra um, healing power. So that's why I chose him. Um, I won't transcend him now. I can upgrade him a little bit, I guess, to plus 2. I really want to try him out. So as always, we're going to be going to the shop and try to buy some awakening items. Let's start with the weapon draw. Let's see if we can get something good. Three, two, one. Uh, oh, look at that skill attack. That's very good. 700. I guess that's the best I had. Attack speed is very good and critical rate is very good. Fearful course. I guess it's okay. Not bad, even if the attack is a little bit low. Okay, let's try the premium awakening armor draw. Boom! Uh, this one is very bad actually. This one is very bad. I, I just want to look at it. It's very bad. Except for the reviews attribute, that's very good actually. Increases all elemental resistance. That's very good. I like that magic effect. But mobility increases melee, increases range. Mm, eh. I really don't care about the mobility. 34% defense. Mm, 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 mm. Below the average, actually. Okay, let's go for the premium awakening accessory draw. Let's see if I can get something good. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, we got a ring. 70% orange. Attack criti that critical rate is bad. Skill attack is bad. Ice resistance is bad. Powerful blow in actively. Inability increases damage when stunned, freeze, confuses. Okay. Mm, I don't care about that. And um, pretty draw. 
this go, I don't know, this draw were a little bit bad. But I won't finish, as you might know, as always, I do finish the video here. But I won't, I won't this time. I will try this, I will try something different this time. So let's go for the runes. And let's do some runes re-rolling. As you can see, I have so many 3 stars runes. Most of them are used. But I want to re-roll some of them. So first let's go and combination to start. Oh no wait 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 I can I can do that. I will show you why. Um today in the morning I just combined two well four two star runes and I got a four star rune. There is it. Destruction rune. I need to get another uh, another four star rune. I don't want that. So I'm going to be taking this and this and let's hope I don't get a 3 star room because I will be cry. I will cry guys, I will cry. Let's see. Uh, Cynthia, nope. Another one. Come on, don't give me a 3 star because I will cry. Oof. Nope. We roll again. Um, why? Simply, I don't have Siren yet to be awakened and it's going to be taking at least two months to awaken her and I'm not planning on awakening her yet, so meh, bye bye. Nope. Okay, let's keep this going. Ah, No, no, no. Okay, I like that. Kind of. I will stop here since I don't have more two star runes for that. Liana's rune, but I want to keep the rune. So I'm going to start um, rerolling these ones. Let's see if I can get something good. Mm, Irene, I have her. I have. Uh, let's see if we can do something with these runes. I don't know, this looks so nice. I don't know. This looks nice. I'm going to put um, Mistress Rune just because YOLO. Um I don't I don't use her that much. I only use her on raids. But I don't know. Um I I don't want to waste that rune at the moment because I want to reroll it later. But at the moment I will Need, I will let her have her run just for a few days, I guess, until I get more two star runs. Okay, let's see if I can get something more here. I saw a three, three star run uh, around here somewhere. Okay, we'll combine some one star runes then. Okay, there we go. Let's see if I can get something good. Nope, obviously. Let's reroll this three star run. If I can get something that I can use. Nope. Come on, give me something good. I need something that I can use. Um, as you can see, getting rerolling a three star rune is more risky than rerolling a four star rune using two star runes. Let's see. Oh, I need I needed that one. I needed that one. Let's see if I still need that one. If I'm not confused, let's see... Tammy... Oh, there we go, I need that rune, I needed that rune. And I'm going to be using Tammy eventually again. But at the time, I'm not planning to use her yet. Okay, let's keep it rolling. Ooh, Patima rune. Nope, I don't care about her. Yet. <laughs> let's see... I don't know, I've been lucky. I've been lucky since I haven't lost... Oh! Watch out, watch out, I need that rune. Okay, let's see. I've been lucky since I haven't lost any rune yet. Um, yes, not yet. I've been very lucky, I guess. But I might lose... <coughs> I might lose any... Any of these rooms, anytime if I keep rerolling them, this. 
I don't know. Let's see. Wow. I I'm very lucky right now. How long is this going to be taking to dawn right? Or getting something actually that I can use? Look at this. Oh no 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 okay. Let's see. Ouch! It got downgraded. It got downgraded. Ouch. That hurts. Um, let's reroll this rune because I don't need I don't need that rune. Uh, another Cynthia rune. I don't need that either. I'm waiting for that Liana rune because. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be I'm going to be using the I'm going to be. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm going to be changing Nistra. The four star, and I'm giving her the three star. What about that? She's going to be happy. She still has a powerful rune. Okay, now let's reroll the four star rune. Use this rune. Come on. Wave, no. Let's use the Mistra rune that I just used. No. I don't know. I'm, I'm scared. I can reroll a 3 star rune, but a 4 star rune... Oh, I really needed that! I really needed that! Orga rune! Perfect! I'm keeping that! I'm keeping that! Let's reroll this last 2, I guess? I will keep those Liana's runes! Obviously, 1 star rune, and I bet 1 star rune! Well! I'm being pretty lucky today, I guess. I only lost one three star rune, only one, and I got a very good four star rune for Orga. And I was really looking for a very good rune for him. Look at this; he has already two two three star runes, and now he has a four star rune. He's going to be very powerful. He's going to be very powerful. So several weeks have passed until I awakened um, Dread, I guess two weeks. So he finally is pool 7, level 30. So I'm going to be testing him on 112 in the easy mode in the sealed continent. As you saw, that was the last part that I ended the um, sealed continent series that I was making that I'm going to be restarting since now he is pool 7 and he's level 30. Right now as you can see this is my scenario team is very powerful and you shouldn't be seeing that the level 4 is sherry at that at this moment because I'm not uploaded a video yet but I guess I will leave you that as a spoiler. <laughs> As you can see, I using my level 40 Minette, my Seal, my Rafina, and my Sherry, and obviously I'm using Dread. He's, for me, he's the best um, healer right now for the scenario. So that's it, I guess. Let's start this and let's see how it goes.
Okay guys, look at how much life I have. I'm going to create red skill now. Distortion wave. Yeah, that skill is so powerful in PvE. It's just so overpowered. Okay, let's fight Lola, stun. Electrify, fire. What about this and this? Distortion wave. Stun. Yes. Look at her life. Look at her life. Pretty loud. Stun her. No, fear. No, she didn't fear. Born. Stun. Distortion wave. No distortion wave this time. And she's stunned. Oh no, I did get distortion wave. I didn't saw that. <laughs> okay. That was pretty, pretty powerful, as you saw. There was one time that I was like 50,000 life left and then I used his skill and she gained it over 2,100 life guys. It was too much, it was incredible. I was going to be dying. As you saw she recovered over 150,000 life. So yeah, that's how Dread works. That's why he's so good in PvE and that's why I choose him. I hope you enjoyed this new part of the um, room re-rolling guys, let me know in the comments if you like it, I will do it, I will keep doing that on Awakening's video if you want me to do that. So this is the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed, leave a like if you like as always, and I will see you in the next video. See ya!